And what A World Vought will inspire us to do is to find our own way to make a difference. Because that is what he has do, done to Feed Shop Amsterdam. He has found a way to make a difference and he will show us how. A Wout. <laughs> that slogan, ideas worth spreading, is false. That's, that's an interesting statement, right? Uh, well, let me try to explain wh where I come from. Uh, uh, we are here today to talk about social entrepreneurship, and, uh, and I'm standing here today as one of the founders of Foundation Feeds Force. And uh, I'm, I am a representative. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, we as a team started Feeds Force. And uh, in this process of setting up Feeds Force, I, I learned a valuable lesson, and this lesson I would like to share with you today. And this lesson is that, that ideas are generated through conversation. It's a process. It's a process of, of many different people. It's a process of many different ideas. And Feedsforce was conceived in the process. Uh, w when we started Feedsforce, we were with a group of six students, and, and we, all know, we all knew that we wanted to help homeless youngsters. And uh, in the beginning, the concept was uh, completely different. The concept of Feedsforce was that we wanted to pimp old and forgotten bicycles, and to later on to sell these bicycles. And with the profit, we wanted to help the homeless youngsters for their education, and housing, and financial difficulties, etc. And in this process, we as a team started to realize that we had to abandon this idea, that this idea was not really suitable. So we had to come up with a new idea. And, <clears throat> and uh, as a team, we started talking to as many people as possible. And <laughs> we spoke to a lot of people. And, um, and mostly people with know-how, and know-how about uh, bicycles, know-how about homeless youngsters, know-how about the social benefit structure in the Netherlands. Uh, know-how in every sector possible, really. And in this process of talking to all these different people, we, we, we developed a new idea, and this is the idea of Feedsource as we now uh, know it today. A mobile bicycle repair service uh, on the spot. And if you keep this lesson in mind, that ideas are generated through conversation, and we go back to the slogan, I ideas worth spreading, the implication of this slogan is that a single person, a one individual, uh, standing here today to explain or sell, so to speak, his or her idea here now with you today, and, and later on the internet via video. And the strange thing about the concept of ideas is that we insistently associate ideas with the person who first articulated them. So you have uh, Darwin's, theory of, uh, <coughs> Darwin's theory of evolution. You have Einstein's theory of relativity, and you have uh, even older ones like the Newton laws. And um, big ideas have their origin myths, and, and it mostly encompasses a sort of uh, singular epiphany or a, a, a sort of individual enlightenment. That a one person alone sitting in his office it came up with this brilliant idea, and, and afterwards it is marketed that way. And mostly in favor of the vanity of the creator, but the simple fact is that this is not true. What I've learned during my time at Feedsforce is that uh, brilliant social concepts, or any concept, and I really need water, <laughs> brilliant social concepts, or any concept for that matter, are, are sprung out of, out of brilliant social networks. <laughs> Sorry, I had my water in the back. But I forgot it. Um, so, so all brilliant social concepts, or any concept, are sprung out of brilliant social networks, not by a singular epiphany of one individual or, a, a, or an individual enlightenment, no. no. Uh, it ideas have always, always been the result of, of conversation and interaction. And um, we live in a world of increased network knowledge, and the, the, the authorized uh, idea the authorized idea 
claimed and owned and, and bought and sold uh, has been an, an accident of technology, really. Be before print came along, all ideas were conversational. Before print came along, all ideas were collective and, 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 and freewheeling and in a very real sense spreadable. <coughs> uh, we can almost certainly tell that Einstein, regarded as one of the most brilliant minds of recent times, and if you look at the picture, you can doubt it maybe, <laughs> it came, came, came up with his idea by talking to, to, uh, to people in his environment. It's easy to understand that Einstein didn't come up with this idea thinking, uh, sitting in his office alone thinking about mass and energy and relativity. No, it sprung out of conversation with people in his environment. His environment being the university, his family, his friends. Uh, Einstein had access to the brightest people, but who knows? Maybe his idea came up uh, came by a conversation with the housekeeper of the university. Uh, I, th I think that as we are all here today uh, can conclude, and I think that this is an easy conclusion, is that in a vacuum, nobody is creative. And um, if we appreciate that ideas are conversational and, and uh, are sprung out of conversation and interaction and out of brilliant social networks, maybe we should reconsider uh, writing down ideas or at least reconsider the ownership of ideas. And um, you see, uh, writing down an idea, uh, the implication of writing down an idea are twofold, namely the idea is claimed and owned by one person or a single organization. But the most painful result is that, uh, is that by writing down an idea, an idea becomes smaller. Uh, there are institutions that require a description of your idea in order to protect the idea. And, and uh, this requirement results in you Defining your idea, uh, uh, your idea that started as something fluid, probably with the help of something fluid. And, and I think that probably all ideas, as we, all good ideas, are, are sprung out of a conversation in the bar. And we all know how these conversations proceed. You order a drink, you start talking, and, and, uh, and you get an idea, and this idea gets bigger and bigger. And, and before you know it, you have conquered the world with your new thought of ideas. And this process can exist because there's no thought process gone into the way it should be articulated on paper. To articulate an idea on paper is to narrow the idea. To articulate an idea is to make a fluid idea into a solid one, easy to package and to sell. I'm standing here today as one, one of the founders of uh, Foundation Feeds Force. And um, as I said, I am a representative. We as a team started Feeds Force. And from this stage, I, I would like to thank the team that helped me set up Feedsforce, and not only by the tangible process of setting up Feedsforce, but most importantly by, uh, by their open-mindedness during the many idea-generating processes. And um, I, I believe that ideas are generated through conversation. And for everybody in the audience, I would say, start talking. Start, start talking to as many people as possible, because an idea is not generated on the toilet or in the shower. An idea is generated through conversation, so maybe you should start talking to the person sitting next to you. And, and you never know when an idea hits you, but when it does, don't be afraid to send it into the world. Don't protect it. Start talking to people about this idea, and, and, and you will find that this will uh, ensure that your idea gets bigger in, instead of smaller. And... Um, from the organization of this TEDx event, I, I received uh, the TED Commandments. It's just a small piece of paper. It's uh, smaller than A4, and it has 10 commandments uh, on it with explanation. And, and I got this to help me to write this speech or this TED talk. And, and on the first, uh, the first commandment was that dream big. And, uh, and I would like to add uh, dream together. Thank you for your thanks. Thank you, Avout, for making us think again about Ted's slogan, ideas worth spreading. And ideas worth sharing, maybe. Yes, Better. sharing. <laughs> yes, perhaps. Well, have you, do you have an idea how the formula of Ted 
could be helpful to the spreading and sharing of ideas? Could there be something done about the formula or could there be something added to it <laughs> to make this work? No, I, th I, I, I do think that the formula is, is okay. So I, I do believe that, that really, you know, we are spreading ideas and that is good. But, you know, the, the fact is that, and, and that's a statement that I, I would like to make, is that I am standing here today as, as a, the, one of the founders of Foundation Feeds Force. And, and I happen to be the one person that said maybe we should create a mobile bicycle repair service on the spot. But that is a process, you see. And, and it's, it happened to, to come into my mind and I started to say that this idea maybe we should do uh, and, and maybe we should set up this foundation feeds for us and with this concept. But, but without the people or, or, uh, that surrounded me, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't create this, this, this. I, I do, couldn't even generate this idea. So, so I think obviously the TEDx and the TED is a very good formula. So, but, but now I'm standing here today as the one person uh, of feeds for us and, and obviously it, it was a team of six people. So uh, again, special thanks to the team. Yes, you made that very clear to us, how important that is to, us, to you. But can you explain us a little bit more about how Feeds Force works, especially in this regard? You, you had an idea and you shared it with others and it was, mm -hmm. well, there was a development in it, as you explained to us. But how does it go on with the young people working at Feeds Force now? Are there still, is there still this sharing of ideas and do you um, help? these people to express their ideas? How does that work? Now we, we have uh, 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 every period in time, like uh, every month, uh, we, we, uh, we sit with, uh, with the youngsters who are employed by Pete's Force and, and we, we sit down and we start talking about, about uh, all the possible improvements in the process from the beginning to the end and, uh, and uh, what they would like to have uh, uh, within Pete's Force to improve and, and to make Pete's Force even better and better. And and uh, and uh, and I hope that we have an, an sort of environment created that everybody is really open and and no idea is uh, is a stupid idea because one person's stupid idea can result in a one person's brilliant idea. So that's how we uh, how we use everybody in the process. Would you say that Feeds Force is even more about ideas as it is about <laughs> bikes? <laughs> I love bikes, and I yes, and I love yes. the decoration here as well. I really. <laughs> I thought it was especially what happened? done what for happened? you. Yes, oh yes. man! We need this force to uh, have repair. Yeah, yeah, I will call. <laughs> and we are only in Amsterdam, so maybe oh, uh, pity. next year in uh, in Utrecht. Who knows? Uh, what was the question? Sorry. <laughs> is it more about ideas as oh, it yes. is even about bikes? No, it is about bikes, but but it it is in in the the the. the we started with the idea of that we wanted to help and to in, uh, to improve the society. We wanted to, we we heard about this increasing problem of homeless youngsters in the Netherlands. So that was the starting point, and and the concept of feeds force is just something we created because there was a sort of gap uh, within the market, and uh, and uh, and and we we jumped in to the gap. Or I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. I but think um, we understand. <laughs> everybody understands. Perfect. Yes. So, 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 Feeds Force could have easily been a color kitchen, you see. But, 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 uh, but, uh, but we, we looked at the market and we looked at the at the bicycle uh, market. And 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 I, I am a bike fan, you know. I am a bike fan. That's so. It was a really, <laughs> <laughs> really easy uh, to start with a bike. Okay. Thank you very much. Give a warm applause to Ewout. <laughs>